my best, surrounded by beauty nonsense. Happy Friday, my friends. Welcome to the end of the week. You did it. We did it. Aren't you excited? Guess what we're doing today? You probably already saw it in the title. We're going to be talking about beauty trash. We're going to be talking about my empties. I do these probably every three or four months. Usually when I run out of hair products, it's kind of this thing where I empty out my shampoo and my conditioner and I think I should throw this away and then I think I'm going to talk about it on my channel then I'll throw it away. I have a standard Lululemon bag full of garbage. You're basic. You know how these things work. I'm going to tell you whether I liked it, whether I hated it, and whether I would repurchase it or whether I already have. So guys, without further ado, let's jump in, have some fun on this Friday, grab a snack, hang out. We're going to talk about empty beauty trash. All right, well, actually off the top here, this is not beauty trash. It's just beautiful trash. This is the Voluspa Goji Taroko Orange Candle, and I have um, used her pretty much all the way up. This scent is specific but it doesn't really matter what the fragrance is i've got them just I have carcasses of them all over my house because i just can't stop i love volume spa so much i really like most of their scents i did a whole thing about them on one of my friday videos either way kill the baltic amber i kill the moso bamboo i kill the you know whatever that berry situation is back there i just destroy them and i love them so much and so this is just one of many empty candle containers from volume spa these are amazing and it goes without saying, yes, of course I've repurchased. This took so long to empty. I have probably had this Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse Self Tan Classic. I probably had this bottle for three years because I only self tan really casually anyway, but I only really do it in the summer because I don't mind my pale skin. I do, I'm gonna get really real on you guys here, I do think that self-tan helps with body dysmorphia. <laughs> she went there, <laughs> she went there. Yes, if you are one of those people who has a little bit of trouble sometimes being self-conscious, looking at yourself in the mirror because you're not really seeing reality, I can relate to you, number one. But number two, I find the self-tan really helps. It contours your body in a way that makes sometimes your less desirable bits, at least according to your brain, look a little bit more palatable in the mirror. So I really appreciate this. I think that this does a really, really good job of giving you a natural looking tan when you are a pale girl. If you are really pale, I don't necessarily recommend using the darkest, darkest tan. You're gonna probably look like you self tanned. It's just throwing that out there. There's definitely something to be said for going within a logical shade range of your natural skin tone. And that is what the natural, what the self tan classic does for me. It just makes me look like I have a healthy amount of sun on my skin, but I don't have to go get the sun damage. This is really awesome because it is a foam and it comes with a mitt. They've actually recently improved the mitt. The mitt that I bought recently when I did repurchase this, spoiler, <laughs> I repurchased this. The mitt has been greatly improved. It is no longer permeable by the product. It used to be very permeable. So you'd get done with the mitt and you had it all over your hand anyway. It's like, what's the point? So I guess they listened to their consumers and the consumer were like, I'd rather use a mitt that didn't get this all over my hand. And so they made a mitt that didn't get it all over your hand. So I really appreciate that. This is, I think, pretty expensive if you're going to like Sephora, but on Amazon, y'all, it's like $23. I'll put a link below. Cause yeah, that's where I buy it. It's awesome. I love this stuff. And it is my go-to tanning stuff. There, I haven't used every kind of tanner out there. I think loving tan is like everybody's favorite, but I just, I really like this stuff. I don't know. It just, it works for me. So like I said, the reason that I typically know to do these videos or think to do these videos is because I finish up one of my shampoos. So this is my go-to shampoo. This is the Function of Khaki. Function of Khaki, Function of Beauty shampoo. I finished just the shampoo and not the conditioner recently, I think, because I have been using a deep conditioner really, really often that I will share with you guys in a minute. So I am an affiliate for them. I don't get money. I just get a discount on some of the products. And so I do really love this and I do use this. I think it's great because if you are unaware of what Function of Beauty is, it is a product line where you go in and customize what you need from your shampoo and conditioner and then they send it to you on a subscription situation, but you could totally adjust your subscription to like not come for the next three years if you don't want to. And you can cancel it at any time. It's, there's no like, you know, lock-in or anything. 
what's kind of funny, oh man, this isn't the one. There's one, I guess I tossed it out, but it comes with a little rubber cap on it and I have no chill whatsoever. And so instead of removing the rubber cap, I just shoved the plunger in there and then the rubber cap was sitting on the inside the whole time, just like haunting me and telling me like, Kaki, you have no chill. And uh, I guess I don't have that one anymore. I do tweak my formula every few times, you know, if I'm looking for a different scent or a different color, just a spice up my life, then I will do that. And sometimes I will add a little bit more, or a little bit less of something, but you can just totally customize these to yourself. And as always guys, I have a $5 off discount situation down below. Ooh, empty. Yes, you are empty, my love. This is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. Yeah! <laughs> like I need like fanfare when we talk about this because this is one of the greatest products of all time. It is my every single day, totally communicates with your skin in the most beautiful way possible, unoffensive, gentle, you can rub it right in your eyeballs. You could use it on your baby. Don't use it on your baby. I don't know why you would use it on your baby, but I'm just saying like, I just, liken it to Johnson's baby shampoo. It can get in their eyes and it's okay. This won't sting your eyes. This is a fantastic facial cleanser from Glossier. They just came out with the cutest little baby version of it too that's travel size. I'm like almost excited just to pack it when I travel later this month. But yes, of course I've repurchased this. This actually comes either as a single or as a mini or you can get it as part of the phase one set, which is a moisturizer, this guy, and I believe a balm.com. If you are like wanting to dip a toe into anything Glossier, the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser is just such a freaking fan favorite. It is a crowd pleaser. It is for every skin type. It is fantastic. It doesn't remove eye makeup, but I use the Thrive Mascara anyway, and so just warm water removes that, so I never have to rub my eyes. This is really cool because it doesn't suds. I actually gave my cousin some of this with her Christmas gift, and she was like, this is the most amazing stuff ever. I didn't know what to think at first because it doesn't suds, but now I understand. <laughs> and you do. You just have to use it to understand, but it is amazing. And I believe that this guy is like, you know, 20, 22 dollars or something, and you get six ounces of it. It's awesome. It lasts forever. I don't really know why I put this in here. This is the Barbasol Thick and Rich Shaving Cream with Susan, Susan Yellow. I grew up kind of poor, and so I just can't bring myself to pay a really high price for shaving cream, so I just use men's shaving cream. This is like $1.35 at Target, and it works just fine. I love this stuff. This is the best stuff in the whole world. This is the Kenra Volume Spray Super Hold Finishing Hairspray number 25. It wins every Stylist Choice Awards every single year. It is, it is the best. It is the best hairspray ever. First of all, it comes in this enormous bottle for a reason, and that is because it is one of those mainstays in a hairdresser's life. You just don't want to run out of it, and so I always buy it in this enormous container. If you are a hairspray user, and you've ever been frustrated by hairspray, you get what you pay for with certain hairsprays. I have found so many people who get hooked on this and then they go, people in my family or people in, just in my life when I was doing hair, and they will always ask me, is there like a cheaper alternative for this? Like it's really good, but like it's expensive. And I'm like, uh, no, there's a reason that it's expensive and that is because it is singularly fantastic. You can spray this on your hair, wait for it to dry and then comb it back out. You can use it as a working spray. You can use it as a finishing spray. You can use it as a you know close up hold spray or you can spray it from far away and give your hair kind of a lighter hold. It is movable, but it is also like firm freezing if you really need it to be. And and it never gets sticky, ever. So, this is it. If you're a hairspray person, this is the hairspray, and yes, it's worth the money, and I repurchase it every single time. I've been buying this for over a decade. Something I have not been buying for over a decade, but that I still love, is this Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I actually have two empties right now, but I'm only gonna share one of them with you. It actually feels like there's a little bit left in here. It has a tiny bit of a white cast to it, but you really have to like spray the daylights out of it to get the white cast. And you'll see it sometimes in my videos that I will have just absolutely gone to town with it. And more than anything, it is light reactive. And so you'll see the lights really highlight dry shampoo on my scalp that you can't really see that much if you were actually here in person. I'm not gonna say that this is the greatest life 
altering dry shampoo in the world. It's just the best one that I've found. I've tried a lot of them. I've tried a lot of the ones that everybody raves about and some of them I just I just don't understand. So I really haven't found one that doesn't have some kind of a powder suspended in it that's going to show up on your hair. It would have to be a completely new dry shampoo technology because I'm pretty sure that's what dry shampoo is. It is just a powder that is suspended in some kind of delivery system. Do I think that this is for everybody? Not necessarily, but it works pretty well for me. Also, my roots aren't going to be as big of an issue in like a week. It'll probably be a couple of weeks before you guys see videos where it's better, but I'm finally gonna go see my girl. The whole idea was I was growing these roots out because I want to sort of get more contrast in the rest of it. I wanna get a little bit more depth because it's just so blonde. It's not very healthy. And I chopped it all off and I wanna get it to a place where it's a little bit less high maintenance. I have, you know, not dark, dark roots. They're darker than the blonde, but if it was brown, I would just let it grow out. It's not brown. It's kind of this like highlight me kind of color. It's very mousy and sort of like gray blonde. I am going to go finally see my girl Clover next weekend and she's going to give me a kind of like balayage sort of painted in blurred situation that will hopefully bridge the gap here. And you guys, if you are perfectionists, will be less annoyed by my Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion style roots because they're driving me nuts too. Okie dokie, what else do we have in here? We have the In The Sun 24 Hour Moisture Ultra Shea Body Cream with Coconut Oil from Bath & Body Works. This was fine. I mean, I really, really like their Shea body creams, but this one was kind of weak because I think they cut it with whatever they think is coconut oil. It didn't feel like coconut oil. It didn't smell like coconut oil. It didn't really satisfy my skin the way that I'm used to these doing so. So this didn't really blow my mind. I'm holding out for them fall scents, y'all. I'm still a 13 year old when it comes to Bath & Body Works fall fragrances. When it comes that time, I will be buying them up. And then also once Vanilla Bean Noel happens, well, we just have to stockpile. This just didn't really do it for me. I've, I've like lost my taste for Bath & Body Works lately. I just kind of want to try something different. I don't know. If you guys have any recommendations that are a similar price point and fun, Bath & Body Works does have kind of a corner on the fun market when it comes to that kind of stuff. You can just kind of cheap thrill, you know, like, you know, buy two, get one free, go see what you like. And none of it really knocked my socks off. Ooh, <laughs> forgot I threw this in here. This is an empty container. I actually need to take this back because I think they give you a couple bucks off of your purchase when you bring this back and, you know, re-up for your next one. This is some Rossum CBD infused, scratch my nose, MCT oil. So half a dropper contains 10 milligrams of CBD. This is their like introductory beginner level formula. And I have since upgraded to the next one, which has 20 milligrams, I believe, uh, per half dropper. And so it's a double, but this is awesome. If you guys haven't heard me talk about this, CBD oil is essentially the non-psychoactive part of marijuana. The marijuana plant and I don't really agree with one another. I lived in Amsterdam. I've lived in Austin for almost 10 years. I've tried it. It doesn't work for me. It's just not a good experience. But this CBD oil is made from the flowers of the hemp plant. It has nothing to do with weed. It has literally zero, zero trace elements of THC in it because me and THC don't get along. This does an amazing job of calming my anxiety. I have a lot of those like doubt voices in my brain all the time. I'm very subject to nonstop crazy brain. I just notice that it helps me control a lot of those weird, nasty voices so that I don't just spiral. We all have self-doubt and we all have different ways that it kind of manifests. I have been on antidepressants, I've been on anti-anxiety medications, and I have spent a lot of time getting off of them and it's miserable and I wouldn't recommend it or wish it on anybody. And this is all natural. There is no dependency. There is no weird crash or anything like that. It's extremely subtle. If you are the kind of person who THC does work for you, and I will just leave it at that, this probably won't even do anything for you. You have to be kind of somebody who's outrageously sensitive to the effects of the drug in order for CBD oil to even, for you to even notice anything because it is, it's just an incredibly subtle, subtle calming effect. So it's very good for anti-inflammatory. It's great for, you know, a lot of the different autoimmune things that I have going on, stomach problems, psoriasis, acne, 
anxiety just the whole nine it just really really helps me it's worth every penny and i have repurchased this in the double strength formula oh and it's from a place called rossum here in town r-a-w-s-o-m-e it's awesome 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 i love lori i love the whole staff there they're so fantastic so i was talking about how i didn't go through the conditioner as quickly and i'm still working on it and that is because i have been using this instead and it's not because that conditioner isn't good it's just because this is so freaking awesome I recently chopped my hair off and I've been really trying to take care of it, do a better job of not just, I don't know, abusing it. This is the Amica The Cure with a K Intense Repair Mask. A while ago, Leanne had talked about one of the hair masks from Amica. It was right after she had gone from purple back to blonde and she's like, my hair is destroyed. I don't think it was this one, but it was one of the Amika hair masks and she's like this actually works like it actually makes a difference in my hair this actually makes a difference in my hair i killed it it smells so good all the Amika products smell so good they all and it's all an unmusky kind of thing. I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with like the r and co products or igk products they all have very very strong fragrances and i feel like they're choices they're very cologne -y. they're very just aggressive and in your face like these fragrances are very like they're not not there it's definitely there but it's this really nice kind of like light floral feminine almost a little bit like summery kind of smell it's very easy to get along with it's a very bright happy smell there's nothing trying to be like you know high fashion or chic or like polarizing about it this is an amazing amazing i mean i used it every day that's why i went through it so quickly and the next one i actually just bought it today is twice the size so yes i'm obsessed with this i was very very pleased with this and i would highly recommend it if you are the kind of person like me who can use all the moisture your little body can get. I need hydration, I need moisture in my skin, and I need moisture in my hair. And moisture in your hair is not always translated as just moisture. You can buy moisturizing products that do too much. You can buy protein products that do too much. You really do get what you pay for when it comes to the technology that's actually built into products like these that has the intelligence to know when to stop. Because if you have too much moisture in your hair, your hair will stretch and break. And if you've got too much protein in your hair, your hair will get brittle and break. And so if you've got sensitive hair, go for the things that might be a couple extra duolas and just make sure that you're doing the right thing for your hair because this actually, you get what you pay for in terms of, like I said, the ingenuity and the technology that's built into a product like this. Oh my God. Okay. We're going to start all three of these at once. So... <laughs> Have you ever cracked open a Sunday Riley pump once you were done with it? Like, hilarious. It has a bag inside of it. It has a little bladder in it, and I can't get it back in there. I did it because, well, <clears throat> these are not inexpensive products, and I want it to get every last drop. But you think when you look at this little jar that it's full of product, it's full of a bag that has product in it, which I think is really interesting. I don't know. So this is the full set. It was just, I forget what it's called, but it's like a brightening set that you can buy to try all these products. It's $90, which is a great deal for these products. And this is the Good Genes All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment, the CEO Rapid Flash Brightening Serum with Vitamin C, and the Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. And so it's a exfoliant, a brightener, and a moisturizer. And they sell them together because they make sense together. This, I honestly, you guys, I just have to talk about these all as, as one because I have repurchased every single one of those products. I use all three every single day. In the morning, I will use my Curology acne treatment and then I will just use the title because I just don't want a ton of product on my face kind of slipping around underneath my makeup and I find that the title does enough over the course of the day that I don't need all of the brightening and everything. Plus, using acids like these before you go out in the sun, even if you're just experiencing a little bit of sun, even if you're wearing SPF, I feel like this makes my skin kind of unnecessarily sensitive to the sun, especially in the blazing heat that is Austin, Texas. So I use these two at night. And I will use the Good Jeans first after my Curology at night, and then I use the CEO Rapid Flash after that. I look so much younger, you guys, having used this after getting my chemical peels. I got the chemical peels. Yes, they do a fantastic job. They're worth 
every penny, they completely reboot your complexion. But it really, you could throw all of those results away if you didn't then go and use a really nice skincare line. And the good jeans, this is just, I'm just waiting this empty stupid little bottle. The good jeans makes such a huge difference once you've gone ahead and done the legwork, at least what I did, to get all of the old crap out of and off of the surface of my skin. This continued to fade my dark spots. I don't have, God, I looked at a picture. Oh my gosh, because I take a lot of photos of myself kind of as landmarks of just sort of like before and after. I'm gonna stick them in here, you guys. We got a before and after of what it has looked like in the past five or six months of my life. Not even that, maybe like four or five months. The difference between just letting myself exist and just, you know, doing my normal, regular, old, old skincare and then going and getting the chemical peels and starting to use Sunday Riley. It's just night and day. I feel so much more confident. I can go without makeup. I don't have my melasma mustache anymore. And it's all thanks to those products. So it's not one thing necessarily because I also have really cured my acne. It really just like takes down a lot of the extra pigmentation that I have from like my freckles. And it also plumps my skin. If you put this on, it just makes everything, like you wake up and your under eyes are so nice and smooth and plumped and and like all of your lines are a little less exaggerated it's just I can't say enough about these freaking products and then the title title is really cool because you know it has a lot of skincare and a lot of kind of you know skin nutrition in it but it's not as expensive as the rest of these you get a lot of product in the full size and it's $65 as a put I know that's a lot I know but as opposed to 80 for this little guy and like you can pay $115 for a full size of the good jeans because they are extremely potent products but the Tidal Water Cream is still a very potent product that has like really great enzymes that go to work on your skin but it doesn't make you as sensitive to the sun over the course of the day and you can afford to use it more often. Like I feel okay putting this all over my neck and my chest as well as my face. So I use that twice a day, I use those two once a day, and that has been my skincare routine. Well, I mean, there are other things in my skincare routine. I don't claim to be low maintenance, but huge, huge difference. Have repurchased the full size, will not live without it in the future. So this is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer and she is empty. And honestly, guys, I feel like this is a former life for me. After using all of my Sunday Riley skincare, really just upgrading to a new echelon of what to expect from skincare, this just feels very remedial to me. It's a fine moisturizer. It does a pretty good job. It's actually a pretty darn good primer. I wouldn't ever bash this product, especially for the price, but it just doesn't hold the same place in my heart as these things that have just been life-changing. So, I mean, if you're using this product, I don't think that it's a bad product. I just think that for what I needed for my skin, this was just never going to get me there. I have this little baby Amika Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray. I would rather use the Vandal from Amika, which is just kind of a hair powder, than something like this. This just weighs my hair down. This is not for people with very, very fine hair. If it is, you have to use very little of it essentially, whereas I can just go to town with Vandal and it just, she supports me. But yeah, I didn't buy the full size of this because it didn't really mean anything to me. It doesn't, I don't know. Meh. I finally finished this little guy. This came in a Tatcha set that had a mask in it and this and one other thing. I think it had the dewy skin mist. But this is the Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. I love this. I am still working my way through a very large, very old, bottle of the Amore Pacific cleansing oil, but I think that when I get done with that, because it's a very luxury, high price product too, this has better skincare ingredients in it, and it's really thick and nourishing feeling on the skin. It just has this fantastic, satisfying feeling of like, you put it on there and your makeup just all comes off. It just feels like clean, clean, clean. It just is a really great feeling. Oh, all the Tatcha products smell so good. But yes, I really thought that, who cares? A cleansing oil is a cleansing oil, whatever. But once I get done with the Amari Pacific, I'm going to repurchase the full size of this because I like it so very much. Tatcha is one of those product lines that I'm pretty new to. There are so many out there that it took me a while to really decide to pick it up, I guess. And I haven't really used the Dewy Skin Mist because it's more of a winter product for me. I don't need any extra Dewy Skin Misting in the summertime. It's getting that from reality. This is an everyday beautiful product that does a really, really good job, especially if you're a fan of a double cleanse where you just kind of 
use this to get all the makeup off your face and then you use something like the Milky Jelly Cleanser to then get everything back to square one pH wise. This is a really, really beautiful product and it does have a lot of skincare ingredients in it. I feel like Tatcha is just a really sincere brand. They do a really good job. It is not inexpensive, but the products that I have tried from them are there for a reason. They are not putting out a full line of nonsense just to get your money. These have true, honestly God skincare ingredients in them and they make a huge difference and I'm a big, big fan of this brand. All right, we got two more things. One is the Lestylo Waterproof Contour uh, Long Lasting Eyeliner in Bronze Riche. I have really moved away from using actual pencil eyeliners. I have now become more of a wet a brush, put it in some eyeshadow, turn it into an eyeliner kind of girl. It gets more into the lash line, it's easier to control, and you don't tug on your face. This is great and everything. This is actually a really pretty color if you are a pencil eyeliner kind of person. You know, I don't really feel anything for this anymore because I just don't use products like this as much anymore. I'm very conscious of the tugging and the wash off and everything, and I would much rather use a wet brush in an eyeshadow than a regular eyeliner. All right, and finally, this is the Mother Dirt AO Plus Mist for face and body. Do I still use this every damn day? Guys, there is something psychologically satisfying, I mean, obviously this actually works, but there's something really psychologically satisfying about knowing that if you go out in the elements, especially during the summer, and you, you schwitz, okay? You schwitz, you, you're gonna sweat, you're gonna glow a little bit. Knowing that the bacteria on your skin is not out to get you is the greatest feeling in the world because um, under my arms, my chest, my any area that's going to sweat, but especially your face where you're very concerned about breaking out and things just kind of happening while you're not paying attention, that is what Mother Dirt AO Plus Mist is for. If you are unfamiliar with the Mother Dirt AO Plus Mist, because it has been a while since I did the full review on this, what it is, is a probiotic face spray. You keep it in the fridge and it has peacekeeper bacteria in it that make the bacteria that is on your skin cooperate. It makes you stink less, it makes you break out less, and it makes you honestly like less likely to get fungal infections and things of that nature. I have, I'm gonna get real on you guys, because this is a very personal thing, right? You can use it on your face. I find that it keeps the bacterial infections from breaking me out around my mouth as much because for just food and things like that, this helps a lot. You always put it on top of your makeup and you put it on as the last thing in your skin here because you don't want to move it around once it's done. You just spray it forget about it, just let it dry. There is a personal element here, right? And that is that this is not just intended for your face. It is intended, if you are someone who's outside a lot and who is sweating a lot, it's intended for your private parts. It's interesting because like, I was telling my friend about it because she was having just, she gotten like broken out from like a yoga mat or something like, you know, just a, it just caught something and she was just really, really frustrated and her face was broken out. She had to go to the dermatologist and everything. And I was like, have you tried the AO Plus Mist from Mother Dirt? She's like, what is that? And I tell her all about it and she goes, real talk khaki, can I put it on my crotch? And I was like, girl, that's what it's for. We are all sweating in the summertime and vaginas are Oh my God, they are out to get us. Am I wrong? I feel like they really are just out to get us sometimes. They're just like, hey, elements, why don't you come on in here? Just give me one, fuck me up, fam. It just really can get so frustrating, especially because I am on an immunosuppressant situation for my psoriasis. I do have autoimmune issues. And so I take a an injection medication that does screw with my immune system. And so I am slightly statistically more likely to get like a fungal infection or an upper respiratory infection or a yeast infection. And everybody knows, it's just science, that probiotics really help to fend those kinds of things off, especially when it comes to a woman's hoo-ha. And this actually really helps if you're, oh man, if you like bike commute, that's huge, or if you work out a lot. So this does last a really long time in the fridge. I think it'll last like four months in the fridge, but it'll last four weeks outside of the fridge, just living in your gym bag, if you were to completely forget about it. But I have also read things about people using this and just not showering. I don't know about that stuff. You can read the articles. I'm not looking for an entire lifestyle change, but this has made an enormous difference in my life as far as just general breakouts that happen from being 
not able to be perfectly squeaky clean all the time. We don't need to be perfectly squeaky clean all the time. That's why it's called mother dirt because it's basically saying, Hey guys, we're kind of dirty creatures. Like let's make our dirt work for us instead of against us essentially. And just get back to building a biome, a microbiome in and on our bodies. That's helping us instead of hurting us. I highly recommend this. It's not cheap. It is, I think, 50 bucks, and uh, I think you can get a discount on it if you order straight from their website, but then you have to pay shipping. You can order on Amazon for the full price, but you get free shipping, so pick your poison. Those are my empties. I hope this video was long enough for you guys on a Friday so that you can hang out and feel like you got a nice, unplugged relaxation time. And if you enjoyed this, do give it a thumbs up, guys. And if you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you did, if you are new here. Welcome. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great weekend. Bye.